Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the HP Chromebook. I'll be doing a screen replacement on this model here. And I'd like to show you the, the back of it. So this is model 14A-NA0031WM. Again, this is the HP Chromebook. And I'll be doing a screen replacement. As you can see that when I open up the Chromebook, I do have the crack screen obviously you can tell that the damage started from here and then it kind of sprayed around to the entire LCD screen now let me go ahead and shut it down and we'll be doing step by step on the screen replacement alright so if you are having a crack screen just like mine and you're watching this video uh, can you please click the like button and that means you are <laughs> You're following along the video to do the screen replacement and I hope that this video helps you and guides you through the whole entire process. Now this is my prying tool. This is the metal version. You, you do come across with the plastic ones, um, but mine is the metal. I will have the tools that you need and the screen in the description below where it's going to be a link where it will direct you to either Amazon or maybe eBay. That's when you can purchase the uh, replacement parts and the tools. Alright, so uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to remove the bezel. This is what we call the bezel. And um, we can remove the uh, smiley face uh, because I was trying to cover that user login at the very first beginning. Okay, um, so this bezel here is actually double sided. So you can feel like there's some sort of a, a, a double sided tape around it. And, and I'm just trying to... Uh, cut the double sided tape so that you make it easier to uh, uh, to remove the bezel all right here you can see like there is this black tape and you just need to remove it by cutting through uh, a separate them I wouldn't say is to cut it but I would say just to separate the uh, the the bezel and the LCD screen Okay, what I did here was um, the bezel is connected to the other side of the base and to separate that base, I just run my prime tool right across it. That's enough to, uh, to separate the, uh, that, that, that bezel. Uh oh, I think I might have just turned on the computer again. Let me go ahead and shut it down. So once I run along that back back side of this, remember I just run across to separate that uh, base. And once I did that, the entire base would just come right out. Okay, at this point here, you can see that the LCD screen is ready to be removed. Um, it looks like the LCD... I think the LCD is adhesive onto it. And I like to find that that tape where I can remove it. Oh, I don't see that tape to pull. Oh, okay, I see it now. The tape to pull is at the bottom right corner. So if you can see there's this little tiny white line okay and there is one right here so you need to actually pull that out what it is is the um, this LCD is not a screw in this LCD is actually a, a double sided tape onto it to to hold onto the LCD so this little white gooey tape is what you need to remove it to pull as you can see I'm pulling the tape
all right so once you pull out that double-sided tape the LCD screen would come out but it has two of them one on the left and one on the right so I'm pulling on the other side all right hopefully that would do it so once you pull the two tape out the screen should come up without any problem all right now you want to lay it down because this is where the connector is okay so what I need to do now is to go ahead and try to remove this tape and once I remove the tape and this is the clipper you need to flip open that clipper once the clipper is open you can slide that cable away from your body so slide it to that direction and the LCD screen will just come up ready to be replaced now I'll show you where the part number is this one here is B140 XTN 07.2 all right so I'll have the uh, the link in the description like I said you can go to Amazon or eBay to purchase the replacement once you have the new screen comes in you need to do is to reconnect the cable right so to connect the cable you just got to slide the cable back in install it okay once you install it put the clipper back down to lock it and secure and put the tape over it all right so that the cable doesn't run anyway now like I said we just removed the double-sided tape which is the tape onto the LCD you need to have a, a tape to retape the screen back so what I'll do is I would have the um, the link where this is where I got it from Amazon so you have the double-sided tape go ahead and find the opening okay right here so I go ahead and get this tape tape it down right it's a double-sided tape remove the peel and then you can just tape the screen back on once the screen is on and you can go ahead and install the bezel and there you have it you just did yourself a screen replacement on this Chromebook if you have any question just comment below and I'm more than happy to help you with any of your questions and again if you forgot to hit the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell please do so i really appreciate your time for watching this video take care and until next time